Hello Tubsters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, we're looking at another sprue from Flames of War, 15mm. Uh, it's for the Flames of War game made by Battlefront uh, in New Zealand, I believe. Uh, and it is, of course, as you can see here, the M2 Bradley. Uh, it's not an M3, it's an M. you can either M2 or a M2B, is it? I should know, it's on here somewhere. Uh, Bradley... M2 and M2A2. There we go. So uh, this I just got this cheap off eBay. The book itself. It's just one of these a few colour photos in the middle, mainly black and white, but some great reference photographs. Uh, and it's uh, done by uh, or written by Michael Green and Greg Stewart. And that's the company that publishes it. Should you want to go and find it yourself, uh, second hand it cost me I think three pound, including the postage. And it's just a, a nice simple flick through reference uh, that I can use. And that's obviously the earlier variant because it's uh, it's not got the the bolt on armour and all the little, well, I think the handles, I don't know if they're handles to get up onto the vehicle or actually lift the skirts up. But uh, uh, anyway, that's the book that I'm using for references anyway. So what are you going to do with this Gav? Uh, I'm going to be, as you know, I'm a, a firm supporter of Ukraine in its uh, war of liberation against the, uh, the invading orcs. Uh, I want to make some models uh, show my support for Ukraine and uh, and support for the for the guys at the front. It, it, I know it's you know making a model. It's not really what support, but it's just recognition for them. Uh, so this is going to be a 147th mechanised uh, brigade uh, and um, it's going to be one of their Bradleys that have been donated by the United States. Um, let's hope that after dragging their feet they can, uh, they can send more support because they're the only ones that can really do it on, on, a, on mass if that makes sense. Um, I mean all well, the cuts in our own defence budget we haven't got a, we, we've got nothing left in the cupboard, but you know, uh, please America, give Ukraine some, all the support you can because you're really the only ones that can do it on a large scale. Anyway, this is my 15mm uh, project, and it's going to be painted as a as obviously a Ukrainian vehicle. Um, the only upgrades I'm aware of, and I, I watch a lot of Ukrainian videos, obviously, um, is They've been upgraded with with uh, inhibitors, more inhibitors for uh, anti-tank missiles and things like that, um, and other type of devices of that type. Um, now, I wanted to go to town on this one and do a fair bit. I'm still probably, and don't quote me on this, I was going to have the, but this is the rear uh, door. Um, don't worry about the the more oval door there that ramp actually comes down complete and you can either but when it's up you can either just come in and out of that door or you can have the full ramp down most of the time you see them with a ramp down uh, but there's a lot of detail there and I don't know enough about the Bradley and I might bite off more than I can chew on the first one to actually do I was going to do a scratch and interior for it but but I'd already planned let's turn it around Gav to scratch an interior, there's an engine down here um, in the real one, um, and there is a. Where are we? I've only got the. <laughs> I've hardly got any uh, knowledge on the Bradley whatsoever, so I think that may be. I might be wrong. That may be the engine hatch comes up in one go. On a. Is it gas struts? I'm not sure. I have seen one only today where they've literally taken the entire front off to get at the engine. But I thought I'd try and scratch build a little engine or partial whatever you can see in there. Um, so I think trying to do the back interior might be a bit too far for my limited skills at the moment. But uh, if it goes well, I'll definitely get another one. But because this is from their Team Yankee uh, extension of their, their game Flames of War, they also do Marders because it's for the Cold War of the the from the obviously late eighties backwards, and they do obviously the Bradley, but they do uh, M one thirteens, which the the Ukrainians often just break it down to the M's. Uh, so uh, I'll be doing one of the M's or two of the M's for 
for the, the Ukrainian builds. Uh, BMP3s and 2s. Um, I don't know if they do a 3, but they definitely do a 2. So I, I do like the BMP, so do that. Obviously in Ukrainian service. They do Leopards, the Challenger, every, every, the, more or less everything that's been donated to Ukraine. So um, I can. there's a lot to go at. So I'm going to be doing this version, which is the A2, with the with the it should be like that, shouldn't it? With the extra armor. Um, as I say, these here handles. I don't know if they're meant to be. I don't think they're meant to be step ups. I think they're supposed to be for for lifting them up. Maybe I'm not sure. But obviously, obviously, you can do the the earlier version as well, which uh, that is. Uh, what else have we got? We got. So it's loads of detail on it. You've got like the firing ports here. We've got a hatch, you could take that out somehow and lift that hatch up if you wanted to. The guy who sold it said that uh, he'd marked, I don't know if it's broken or he's marked it off, but two little uh, hinges there um, for the for the actual, uh, obviously, hatch cover was the word I was after. Uh, but, um, but that doesn't, I can scratch that, that's no problem. Uh, targeting, uh, I'll have those doors open, I think. Uh, again, you'd have to cut them and remake them. Uh, slightly disappointed in the barrel because it's fluted, as I, be I believe it's fluted. Uh, I presume for cooling and wear. Uh, and that seems to be just round. And I don't know if I can really do anything with that to make it uh, a fluted. Might try. It's got an anti-slip texture on it. Where are we? Come on, anti-slip texture. It has got an anti There's a lot of dust on this. Somebody's obviously had it out. Um, as there is a texture on it. I think I'm going to leave that rather than do my own because there's so much clutter on this with bits and pieces. I, I don't know if I can make it any better. So we'll see on this one how the, the anti-slip shows through or not. Uh, that's about it, really. And there's our tracks again. They always do nice tracks. So, oh, let's just have a look at the treads, not brilliant on them. You're only going to see that bit really, but uh, yeah, we'll sort that out anyway. Whatever I think needs upgrading will get upgraded. So, hopefully, you like that. As I say, it's uh, dedicated to uh, the armed forces of Ukraine. Uh, there are side bin here. Uh, so, yeah, um, I've I might run them both together. I don't want to actually, I've got the M10 Achilles that I'm working on. I've done loads of stuff putting welds on and, and that. Um, I will check for welds on this. I doubt there'll be any seam. Not particularly agricultural on the, on, the weld, uh, on the weld front. But I have done it on the M10. So I've done welds on the M10 and some bits without going over the top on it. Um, so uh, I might run them both together. I'm also wanting to get a Marder. I've always loved the Marder. And uh, Ukraine also operates the Marda and our warrior. Um, so <laughs> it's a lot to go at. Uh, so yeah, I'll just the only thing I'm, I'm a bit worried about is there's, there's a flex in that barrel there. Nothing to do with the previous owner. Uh, it's all well, nicely described in that. Uh, it's just how it's been put on there. Normally they do that barrel separate. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't into the more modern stuff and there'll be people that aren't into, obviously, my own personal views uh, on the war in Ukraine and that but uh, this is my channel and I'm building some I'm doing these little builds dedicated to the armed forces of Ukraine and I'll try and do not always but I'll try and do a separate brigade um, I, I did look at getting the, the patches you know the patches they've got but I don't, it's just out of my price range really so uh, I will try and somehow get the brigade patch and not real one but I could draw in a one or something just to just to show that particular brigade off as I as I finish the model, and uh, again I'll I'll try and put them all on little settings if possible. So thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, we've got a load of stuff actually, load of videos coming up. Uh, thank you very much for the kind words on the latest part of the paint for John McLean, uh, Die Hard Head. Uh, we've got uh, Phil R's reveal at last of the 54 millimeter French uh, Imperial Guard Grenadier. Uh, HMS Bristol's been, forgive the pun, steaming ahead. And I've got a fair bit done on Bristol, uh, so there should be a should be a video on her coming up soon. Uh, I've got a, I've got a load of six mils that I've done and are just waiting for a video. 
so, so there's lots of bits and pieces. We've got another figure coming in, World War Two, 120 mil figure, 3D resin print, and let's think it's crossed that it's decent. A bit of an experiment really, if it's worth getting getting them or not. So uh, yeah, loads to go, and obviously you'll have an update on the D-Day group group build Achilles. As I say, there's been texturing going on there and all all manner of things. So um, yeah, you'll uh, you'll get to see that in an upcoming video. So thank you very much. Look after yourselves. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the kind words and support. It's always appreciated. And we'll catch each other on another video.